New Hope is primarily a place where we teach the Word of God so that it is communicated creatively and clearly in a way that people understand. We really work hard on different avenues of communicating, whether it's through literature, writing, a video, film, dance, music, art, everything we can we want to redeem for the gospel. Uh, that's what God's called us to do. We want to do it the best we can. Here at New Hope, we really work hard at developing not only the message or what's communicated, the skills, and talents, what people see, but the messenger, the person behind that, the heart behind that, the spirit behind that, the depth, the integrity behind it. So we want the message to be done well with excellence, communicated well, but the messenger to have a depth and a sincerity and an integrity. So that's why mentoring, discipleship, example, are absolutely critical here at New Hope. But one of the things I notice about discipleship and mentoring, it doesn't happen online. You don't do it at a distance. Mentoring and life change happens life on life. It happens when you can sit with someone and see their example, hear their instruction, but watch their hands and their hearts. That's what affects students the most. It's what they see, not just what they hear. In fact, recently they did a survey on colleges that teach and they found that of the teaching when a student graduates, less than 5% is actually hands-on application. The rest is classroom. Whereas here at New Hope, it's probably 50-50 in that the students, when they graduate from this college, they'll have between 1,400 and 1,600 hours of practicum. Here at New Hope, we link up the church and the college so that it's actually called New Hope Church and College because the primary goal of New Hope is to train up young men and women for leadership in the church, the Bride of Christ. And so we want to make sure that we have a simulator, we have a lab church, and which has always been my heart from day one. The church undergirds the college. They give the students a place to serve, to practice their gift, uh, to teach. But at the same time, it gives students scholarships and, and inspiration and encouragement. But the college also serves the church in that young people are there to be servants, to be ushers, greeters, to run technical equipment, to do music, to do worship. So it really is symbiotic. And here at New Hope, we want them to be a part of life. And when you are a part of life, you get discipled. When you're discipled, you're being mentored. And when you're mentored, you become a world changer. I often say that one of the greatest problems with tomorrow's church is not a lack of leaders. It's going to be an overabundance of underdeveloped leaders in places of leadership. And we want to make sure that our students, when they graduate, have a heart of integrity and they think more about others than themselves. They think about their decisions to make sure that they are serving an audience of one, that the Lord would say, well done, my good and faithful servant.